Alright guys, I want to give you a quick update on the ham in a can project. As you can see I've got most everything here mounted. I like to have everything I'm going to mount to the uh, to the rack. And this is the way it's looking. Now I did originally have intention of mounting uh, one of these MFJ speakers. But this uh, power distribution panel just took up way more room than I anticipated. Of course, I was looking on it on the internet when I picked this. <laughs> so let me real quickly show you the what we got here on the front. Of course, we have our rig blaster. Uh, this will be the interface for the computer. The uh, USB on the back has been ported up to the front. The uh, microphone jack has been ported up to the front. Over here we have the Yezu 817, and you can see all of the controls are still uh, accessible. Got the Z18 Auto Tuner. Okay. Um, we're going to run from the back of the Auto Tuner to here with a jumper, so this will be the main HF out. We could always use this guy, but this will be the main one. Now, since I couldn't mount this in the rack, um, I took the audio from the rig blaster and run it over here to this jack here and I put an L pad in between so we can adjust the volume for the speaker independent of the volume for the radio to make digital work. Um, again we're going to mount four batteries in here. Uh, I'll be able to turn them on individually or all at the same time. This one here, this switch, will operate the USB charging point, port. If you're not using this, um, it will consume a small amount of power just sitting there. So we, if we don't not going to use that, we can just take that out of the circuit, save the little battery. This is a momentary switch. And I'm going to connect that up to the voltage meter. So again, the voltage meter does consume electricity. So uh, I'm only going to use that if I want to, okay, do a quick check, looks good, I'm done. This switch here will be main power for the auto tuner and the 817. Now if you've seen one of my auto tuner hacks, you'll know I stuck a uh, inverter uh, or a converter in here, so this will run directly off of 12 volts. It does not need batteries anymore. So that'll be a quick switch to kill power, uh, kill transmission if needed. Um, Anderson power poles, surface mount here. Um, probably be using this mostly with my solar uh, collector. I have a standard 12 volt cigarette jack and some banana plugs if we need them and all these will be connected to 12 volts. So you can run a variety of different things off of it. This jack here is a CW jack so we can put in our, uh, our, our keyer and run the keyer into the back of the rig blaster. I'm going to turn the camera off and flip this around and kind of give you an idea of what we're, going, what we're doing in the back. Okay, so here's the back side. We got the rig blaster, 817. Z817, here's the L pad, that's wired in. The CW connection, there's the audio. Jack's uh, wires go across, this is to the input for the rig blaster. Audio for the rig blaster from the 817. I still need to run a uh, patch from here to here. And then everything else will just be uh, 12 volt or just uh, connecting up the batteries. Uh, let me flip this thing outside here and I'll show you what the uh, batteries are going to look like. Okay, so as you can see I've got some little trays here. I've got two of them, two of the batteries sitting in there. And these just kind of sit in there. Just like that. It's nice and snug and they'll be zip tied in so we'll have four batteries uh, here and it looks like I may need to uh, shrink that uh, RF cable up just a little bit but I haven't zip tied these in here yet because I haven't uh, wired any of the power 
So there is a quick look at the current state of the Hammond can. Hi guys, Dave here. And I've decided to catch up with the rest of the YouTube world and create a Patreon account. If you like the content that you're seeing, the help videos, and uh, some of the new things that I try to show you, please support my channel. I put a link to the Patreon account below, and I would appreciate you uh, helping me out. Thanks for watching. And again, all my YouTube videos, content will always be free to my viewers. Thank you very much.